Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So today we are going to be hatching the epic Blossom Dragon. So the Blossom Dragon is the current dragon of the week and look at how adorable this little egg is. Oh my goodness gracious. And here is the lovely Blossom Dragon. So this train of spirits are always soothed by the fragrant scent of the Blossom Dragon. If only he could bottle it and share it with the Vikings. Maybe they'd lay down their battle axes and be at peace. That's fair enough, and we do actually have a spot for her, thank goodness gracious me. And she is right there next to the butterfly and the holly dragons. Like, why have they put the butterfly there? It's just going to remind me how sad I am about it. But anyway, we've got baby Nozd here, and the baby form I'm actually a big fan of on the blossom dragon. It's even got a little blooming flower, or soon to be blooming flower, on its tail there. But very pink, very almost girly, but even though I'm not a great fan of the colour pink, I really like this dragon. Very happy we got to add her to our collection and we bred her on our fourth attempt. So it was a pretty lucky breed, but obviously not too difficult to breed this week either. But very elegant looking dragon and if you look at inside her eye, her you can see there's like a little flower shape in there. It's actually really subtle, but I like it. I like it a lot. But there we go! Another awesome dragon to add, and fire, light, and plant. I imagine she'd be really good for someone that just unlocked the light element. Like, just that typing is pretty interesting, to, just in general sort of thing. But anyway, let's upgrade these habitats as much as we can, because we need the space, gosh darn it! There's also currently a Princess's Admirable pack out with Koloth, the boss dragon, on sale with a boss habitat for £11.59, which I think is quite costly for what boss dragons do, but at the same time, you know, it's a lot cheaper than it is normally, so if you're someone that was thinking about getting all the boss dragons, just wait until they go on sale, because they do eventually, most of them end up going on sale, so if you buy them at full price, like, you know, that that's a lot of money right there. And money that you probably didn't need to spend. Although there has been one thing being talked about recently, I'm not sure if it has any bearing or is actually true or not, so don't quote me on this or say, Quack said that this is going to be implemented at Gameloft, is it true? Okay, don't say that. But I've been hearing talk about how boss dragons were intended to be able to come to play in normal fights in one way or another. That was always the plan for them, to have them actually be usable in game in some fashion. So, who knows? Maybe next update we'll see something about that. Maybe we never will. Who knows? But if you remember, the this thing over here with all the clan stuff relating to it, this thing was empty for like a year and a half, something like that, and nothing was done to it, and then eventually we got the clan dragons introduced and then finally became usable, so maybe the boss dragons are still in the works for how we're gonna use them one day, who knows? But either way, maybe there'll be some really special thing that you can do if you have them, I have no idea. Again, I'm just uh, spurting off pretty much nonsense at the moment, but don't know if that's ever going to happen. If it does, that's pretty interesting. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see at least. But just in general, how's your breeding been going? I know a few people have been messaging saying that they haven't quite gotten the blossom yet and they really want to get it. And they want the Zhuanzang as well, which, you know, I can understand that. I understand that pain, definitely. And I can't knock any of these guys out, unfortunately. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, well, we can one-shot this guy and then we'll just murder the rest with Andy. Whatever. But, yeah, Zhuanzang, I really want to get. Obviously, it's new stuff. Dainty Dragon's pretty. I got her in a very strange way. Wow! Infection didn't even murder you! What is going on today? Like the strongest things ever, apparently. You know what we should really do? We should have trained Sany up, but I would have to do the training manually. And I'll, I'm going to be honest, I'm not willing to do that. I hate training in this game so much. Like, 
that little stupid shoot the Vikings minigame that it makes you do every time is not worth it, in my opinion. It's not worth the frustration, the anger, the hatred that I have to endure every time I try and do it. So, <clears throat> there is the dealio with that. Again, I'm just uh, not a fan of the training in this game, which is one of the main reasons why I love auto training so much because it is just time consuming and I miss all the bloody time on PC. It's actually a lot easier on my mobile, don't know why exactly but just something about it I find much easier on my phone. So it, you know I still do miss every now and then, don't get me wrong, I still hate it but I don't know, I just don't like it on PC at all. I don't know if anyone else is in the same boat as me with that, but you know, that's just my pet peeve. That is one of the things in this game that I actually despise. I don't think there's a lot of other things in this game that I really, like, truly hate. That is definitely one of them, like, out of how annoying some things can be in this game, that is by far the worst. You know, maybe I'm just talking nonsense to most of you and you're like, hey, I really like the training. You know, that's you. That's you. That's, we all like different things in the world and I will never like the auto training in this game. They have stuff like that in a few other mobile games and I just find them really, really annoying, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bit weird about it. Just not a fan, put it that way. I do have my final slice of birthday cake with me here. I know what some of you are probably thinking, what the hell, your birthday was on the 12th of June, how old is that cake? Well, you know, it is only the 24th today, so that's 12 days later, but no, this cake was bought last weekend, so it, it's not a bajillion years old, don't worry. I have to say though, as a child I just used to eat so much cake if it was given to me, but now I'm just kind of like, Eh, you know, it, it's uh, bad for me. And I've got to the point in life, that is a Skype message, please ignore that. But uh, yeah, I've gotten to the point in life where I'm just sort of like, you know, if I eat this cake, I know I'm going to gain like 200 kilos, so I kind of don't want to eat it, but at the same time, I don't want to waste it. And I really, like, I never buy chocolate for myself or anything like that, I just don't eat snacks like that anymore as a an older person that makes me sound like I'm about 50 but I don't know it's a thing that most people go through because like some people my age I know just sort of eat everything in sight and you know those people where they just eat whatever they want and never ever gain weight I hate them I hate you the burning searing passion as much as I hate auto training or not auto training what I love auto as much as I hate manual training like I'm not even gonna do any more fights let's try this out I just hate it so much let's see how well I do shall we fine fine like this is going fine so far but I just like it's if I miss one I get all panicky and just shoot all the little girl toys but there's so many of them, and it's so quick and tedious. And like, look at how many we have to shoot at this level. Like, why can it not just be like six of them? Why does it have to take forever? I know that it increases based on your level, but you know, I just hate it so much. It, don't get me wrong, it is worth it for the upgrades that you get, but I don't know. Stop messaging me! Holy God! This is what always happens when I don't turn my Skype and everything off. Ugh! Well, you know, I was planning on leaving after all of our clan quests were done anyway, but I guess uh, I have I have places to be, I have things to do, things to see. I guess we've succeeded in training today. I guess I'll try it out next time and see how we go. But, you know, fella today just as a wrap up you know new dragon super happy about that 
make sure you're looking out for the Zhuanzang. Don't know if the, uh, yeah, there we go. We've got his lovely blue egg here. So make sure you're looking out for him as well. Hopefully the combo won't be too difficult. And good luck if you are trying to get the butterfly dragon in the golden opportunity event. It is a very difficult dragon to get your hands on right now. Like, the scores are insane. So, uh, very best of luck with all that. But thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you then.